made 30 pounds <gasps> and Jesus. the injector duty cycle was 120 percent so it was starting to go a little bit lean a little <laughs> What's the secret password? Found on road dead. Come in. I feel dirty. You feel dirty? Why? I just, I don't feel, I feel strange. Like you need to go to church? Yeah. Where'd you go to pick this thing up? Syracuse, New York. Only rusty piles of shit come from New York. Come on, Scrap. This is not rusty. Trust me. Really? That was my initial thought, but the guy we bought it from assured me. It has never seen snow, barely even seen rain. Never seen salt. I don't even know if I want to do this. You know... It's very weird because I never thought I would do this. Do you think maybe you had a bad influence? I've had many. <laughs> I've had many. Uh, but here we are. Let's see what you've done. Let's assess the damage. Dude. I'll kick your ass. I swear to God, don't even start with that. Just saying. No, that has nothing to do with why this happened. Nothing. You bought a Mustang. As if we don't already have enough. You're not going to whistle and diesel it, are you? That was his original plan. You know, not too long ago, he told me a plan of building an LS run stand out of a Mustang. Yeah, I was going to do that. But but you're not doing that with this. this you know what? This actually looks like a clean car. It's not bad. It not bad, definitely huh? needs detailed. It definitely needs cleaned up. The interior is terrible. The wheels, I'm sorry, Ty, but these wheels are leaving the chat. Well, I see it's a four lug. Not for long. We've got a set of brand new RC comps. You, you really bought a Mustang. And number one, it's not a four eye, so you lost me there. I know. I already don't like Mustangs, but I've seen a couple four eyes I like, and it's a hatch. Back in the day, these were the Cars. Yeah. Like the so with the, the round yeah. headlights, that was the shit. Yeah. This when these cars came out in '89, was it '89, '88? Uh, '87 was the first year for the round nose. Uh, okay. So in '87, '88, '89. Let me back up. I graduated in '91. Only the top tier coolest kids in the school showed up with a Mustang GT, and the top cream of the crop was the GT. The LX cars were for the pores, okay? <laughs> the GTs were what everybody wanted. Now, I know that's not necessarily the case today, but back then, only the pores drove around in the LX cars. Only the coolest kids had the GTs. Okay, but off topic, kind of, what did you drive in high school? The 71 Nova. Were you cool? I was way cooler than anybody in that. Are you sure? Because you were in a band. <laughs> Maybe this isn't gonna work out. Maybe this is just not meant to be, okay? <laughs> he checked this thing all out. He told me it was okay. You already got him on the laptop, huh? Yeah, so Here's I down... the first problem. He's, it's not tunable with a screwdriver. Yeah, you don't really know how you know to use a, a laptop. Is? You plug it into the laptop. Yeah, my Max 5 has one. I know all about that. Okay, you plug it into the laptop and then here you have everything you've already you need to be successful. My, you've already infected my laptop with Holly. E oh God, he's into the rainbow screen. That's how you know you're in a bad place. It's snowing up here. Down <laughs> here it's hot as hell. Oh my God. Pop the hood so we can show what the situation is. Pop the hood. Is. Pop the hood. Got a wallet dent here. All right, so here's the next big thing, right? Let's hear it. When you open the hood of a Mustang, 
you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, right? Could be a small block Chevy, could be a Coyote, could be an LS, more than likely an LS. But this one, this is my Mustang. I don't do the crossbreeding thing. You are disgusting. As, no, 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 no. Listen, BJ is going to be very proud of me. Oh, really? Because it got a Ford motor in it. I don't have a coyote motor though. Yeah, it ain't no coyote <laughs> motor, but it ain't no BLS motor. Ain't no Chevy motor. That's a big turbo. The uh, the plug routing is questionable. Okay, I didn't do that. Oh, you got, oh, Jeff would love the carbon fiber on the valve covers. That's Listen, really hip right there. Technically, I haven't done any of this. None of this is my doing. <laughs> Okay, some of it's good, some of it's questionable, some of it is absolutely atrocious. It is what it is. But this car represents something that a lot of people can relate to. Not me, <laughs> but a lot of people. Okay, uh, it's a Holly EFI 331 dark block, small block Ford with an 80 millimeter VS racing turbo. It does have an air to air intercooler. Um, it's on gas right now, but we're yeah. probably going to change that. Yeah, it's on pump yeah, gas right now. That's how it was raced. It went 560s at like 125 on race gas. So it's not no slow. Control. So right now at the top of our list, the number one priority for me is the wastegate is pin shut. We got to deal with that because I'll scramble egg this fucking thing. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to destroy it. I mean, how much did it make? Could you tell? No, you don't I have don't any have gauges. gauges. Yeah, we have to update the dash because the dash needs updated. Yeah, okay, so let's, look, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Number one, the wastegate is pinned shut. That's number one. Number two, the holly needs to be updated because currently we have no gauges. Nothing. I don't know how hot it is. I don't know how much oil pressure it's got. I don't know how much and you boost bought it's it? making. Knowing all I didn't go on the test drive. Junior did. But look, you've I, driven it now. I mean, I have driven it. Yes. Do you like it? You feel like you made a good choice. So it has a turbo 400 with a first or second gear leave. So it's got a billet valve body turbo 400. Uh, it's got a 8.8 .8 rear end with 35 spline axles. You're yeah. certainly doing better yeah, than Billy it's did. It's got uh, torque boxes replaced yeah. in the, on, the, on the lower. I don't know if the uppers are replaced, but they, they welded in some reinforced torque boxes that are adjustable. So it does have a cage. Safe. It's safe and the cage is actually pretty decent in it. There are some hackable things on this car, but the cage isn't one of them. Uh, so even though I don't particularly care for Mustangs, I uh, don't necessarily care for small block Fords, don't necessarily care for EFI, like basically what, what this car is about? everything that I said I would never do. I'm a little different, right, from the vast majority of people out there. And this car is definitely relatable to a lot of people. And the reason we bought this, we've talked about this forever, Billy and I have talked about this forever, is that we would like to buy cars, fix them up, make them nice, do some things to them to make them presentable, make them reliable, make them run good, and then do giveaways. And... Hell no, I'm keeping this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna race it in the street class. <laughs> Let me keep it for like a year. So we're gonna keep this car for a while, but the main reason I did what I did, I have a hard time letting go of things that I really like. So I thought, well, if we're gonna do something like this, if I buy a Mustang, a fuel injected small block Ford Mustang, I shouldn't have any trouble letting go of it when it's time to turn it loose. That's the idea. Yeah, like if we were doing a lifted square body, oh, no, that no, wouldn't work. That would probably never work. <laughs> It would be, oh, no, I'd be buried in it. I'd try to have pieces of myself amputated and buried in each vehicle. I'm surprised <laughs> Billy gave away Stranger Things. I mean, honestly. That was tough. It was tough. Stranger Things have happened. Like I said, welcome to the Upside Down. <laughs> so, listen, here's what I'm saying, all right? It's a really nice day out. Yeah. The roads are dry. Billy drove his Mustang here. I mean... This thing's got pump gas in it It's right got now. pump gas in it. We, like... It is not a good idea to take this out and start romping on it. Because 
It's on pump gas. It's got a race gas tune in it right now. It's got the pump gas tune. It's only on 18, 18 degrees of timing wide open. Oh, really? And it's 11.7 air fuel on gas. Oh, so it's safe. It's very safe, but okay. at the same time, we don't know how much boost it's making. We don't know anything about this car other than what you guys see and what we've already said in this video. That's it. We want to improve the car. Uh, Ty, the guy that we got the car from, loved this thing. And I promised him that we would give it a good home and I would do everything in my power to see the car stays in a good home as far as as long as I own it and when I let go of it. I'll do the absolute best I can to make sure the car goes to a good home and is taken care of because Although the car's a little rough right now, someone took really good care of this thing at one time because this is the original paint saved for the hood. It's the original paint. The car's never been painted. Uh, as far as I know, it's never been wrecked. It's never seen snow. There's no rust on the car anywhere. So. What's the matter? Oh, I'm checking the oil on it. Ooh, I don't know. You didn't check the oil before you bought it? The engine's fresh. It has no passes on it. Okay, it's full. It's clean. We're Gucci. <laughs> this is my first official modification. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these. These are I don't even know what the purpose is, but when I see these, I instantly think of the automotive aisle in Walmart. It's a place that we don't go. All right, so I've done a little bit of tweaking on this thing. Um, just gonna show you guys what I did. As you can see here, uh, it had a, a weird spot on the map where it was only idling at like 20 degrees of timing. That's really not enough timing. Um, for the amount of fuel that was in it, it was trying to drown itself and then it was kind of surging back and forth between 30 degrees and 20 and then sometimes when you'd rev it, it would have a like a dead spot and that's because it was going up here and hitting 14 degrees timing. There's no reason for that to be in there at all. Um, so basically what we did was we, we made this 34 degrees where it idles. Um, it's a 331 small block Ford. I've had, you know, a 302 in my life before with Stranger Things, and it seemed to like 34 to 36. So we're going to try 34 on the idle. Um, obviously, the timing is really safe up here. 121 kPa. We're at 21 degrees of timing. I'll do a conversion on that to boost. That way you guys can see what that actually is. So 121 kPa is equal to like 17 pounds of boost. On 17 pounds, it's on 21 degrees of timing. That should be pretty darn safe for what we're doing with it. All I did was basically clean up the idle. So I'll show you what I what I changed. I hope you changed the lock because that thing ran like rancid ass. Oh, it's way better. So, it terrible. so this is what I did. I made it idle at 34 degrees instead of 20. Good. Um, it had a hole up here where it would, when you'd rev it, it'd go to 14 degrees of timing. Ew. And it had a hole over here too, where it was really low on timing. Mm -hmm. So now it revs really clean. And then I didn't change anything once it's up on some boost, because it's, I just want it to be safe. Mm -hmm. Since it's on pump gas right now, mm -hmm. we'll just drive it and see how it is. Did you drive it before? How did it drive? Did it have a stumble? Yes, it was terrible. Yeah, I would imagine it did because... This is what it was before. I saved the original tune. My, this, how things have changed. This is the timing map before. You see it was 20 degrees, 14 up here. Oh, that's 22, Why would they 23. Do that? I don't know if they just thought like at idle it needed less timing. I have no idea why. There's no reason for it to have 14 degrees of timing up here. I have no idea why that is that way. I mean, at wide open throttle or past half throttle, it ran good. But drivability, miserable. So, miserable. Terrible. It was very lean at idle before. Yeah, I could tell that. I wanted it was to lean and had no timing. So I put some timing in it, and then when I did that, it was idle at like 20 air fuel. Mm -hmm. So I put some more fuel in it to where it idled about 14.2. Yeah. And now it idles nice and smooth. Yeah. And it revs clean. See, if it had a carburetor, I would have had this thing running up down the road doing rolling smokies. 
Well, the mo most Two time I was ago. sitting here, I was trying to get the dash updated. I finally oh. figured that out. So now we have a dash with gauges. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. It's one of the old 5.7 dashes. I don't think they even make them anymore. And it's like an old computer screen. It's weird. It's like from 2006. Hmm. But I got it. So we should be ready to take a drive. This is so weird because now you're tuning and asking me to tell you how it drives. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exact opposite of the way it's been our whole life. We'll see. I think it needs a little bit more startup enrichment, but we'll see how it starts now.
think we we got something to work with. Definitely makes a lot of power. Yeah, it definitely makes a lot of power. You log those so we can see what it did. Yeah. And now we can start working our way through it, right? Yep. That's so much easier than a carburetor, honestly. Boost. I'm starting to see the attraction to this whole fiasco. However. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm just saying I'd rather be on my love seat in my beige Malibu with a nice, smooth, quiet ride. I like the Malibu that it has power instantly. This has to, like you have to time everything just right. You have to wait for it. But when it comes in, oh my God. I don't know if it's blow by or what, but every time you let off, it smokes real bad. Really? Yeah. It, I think it's got some oil leaks. It leaves some oil stains on the floor. It's hard to tell. It may. Did you get your gauges on on the yeah, dash? The gauges are on. Everything look good? Uh, well, the only thing I see is a boost gauge. Like, I don't know what, what we got to do to get oil pressure and all that up, but the screen's pretty small, so I don't know mm. if I can get everything up there where I can see it, but it mm. definitely runs so much better than it did yesterday. Yesterday was so bad. It was terrible. It made 30 pounds. <gasps> Jesus. And the injector duty cycle was 120%, so it was starting to go a little bit lean. A little? Dude, it's on Bro. gas, and you're putting it on 30 pounds? Bro. You didn't tell me they're, like, pinned, pinned. I told you what he said. You said, you heard him. He said <laughs> it's pinned, pinned shut. As in, it's going to make whatever it makes. That's what the man said. I take him at his word. It definitely is pinned. Good Lord. You guys are fixing to blow this thing up. I guarantee you all that smoke's probably a head gasket starting to go. I can't believe it. I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen somebody make that many pulls on 30 pounds on gas. I was very <laughs> on 30 pounds. gentle. Like when it come in, I would feather it, but. Well, cause it's light in the tire. It wasn't very long and it only saw 5,700 RPM and it wasn't lean for very long. I didn't know you were going to get on it. I was you just told to drive me it to do it. You're like, mad it so I can log it. I'm like, I remember distinctly telling you, he said the wastegate is pinned shut. Fucking New Yorkers. Oh my God. I'm to cool down a little bit. Did it cool off on the way home when I coasted it? It stayed at 220. All right, so we are on third to last spark plug here. Every one of them so far has looked fine. So that's a good sign. We've got three more to go. I honestly didn't know that the wastegates were pinned shut. I guess I should have asked the guy if, uh, you know, what he meant by pinned. And I got it. And so it made 30 pounds. Poor, poor decision on our part, but oh, oh, oh. our. <laughs> you hear that? He's trying to. <laughs> you, our. You our. were over there with your clown foot. Clown <laughs> foot? <laughs> clown foot? Bro, I lit. It's on the. You put it in. It's on GoPro in the car. I said, dude, I don't have a boost gauge. And he said the thing's pinned. Roll the tape. Roll it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Now, if it was a carburetor, it would have had a boost gauge right where I could see it. The carburetor has nothing to do with a boost gauge. Why doesn't it have a boost gauge? It does. Where? On the dash. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't watch that damn thing while I'm trying to make poles. Clown foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all right. It's easy to get the heads off. Right. You just blow them off. So oh, 30 what's pounds. the worst? Let's say, worst case, what's the worst? What are you worrying about? The worst that could have happened is that it nicked the head gasket and pressurized the cooling system a little bit, put an air pocket in the cooling system. That's why it's got hot. Oh. 
Guaranteed. And then the the best case scenario is that everything's just fine, and all that smoke it's not we fine. saw. It's not fine. There's no way. Okay. There's no. We're gonna way. we're gonna compression <laughs> test it once I get all these plugs out. But Do there's we have absolutely. That we can compression no way test. That it's fine. And I'm not so sure that it didn't have a nicked head gasket to begin with, honestly. Right, because honestly, the very from, first pull it was smoking. Yeah, it was smoking like the whole time. So. Um. But it, it looked like blue smoke, right? I would say so. Well, yeah. smoke is grayish, smoky smoke. So there's a difference between <laughs> blue and gray. It's blue. I would yeah. say smoke I would lessons. say the smoke had a blue tint. <laughs> and then it's probably oil. either oil. It's probably oil, which also isn't very good to be burning. But it's got to be. Why would oil day, burn out the exhaust? Day one. Day uh, one. I mean, it's got a Chinese choo choo boy on it. Who knows? The Chinese choo choo boy could definitely be a culprit, but. So the plugs all look good? Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, well. I got two more to go though. Oh. So there's <laughs> there's still a two and eight chance. So <laughs> what I'm ex kind of expecting is to see one that's really clean. And that's the one. That's the one that it's got antifreeze. Yep. If oh. there's one that's really bright, clean. Poor Ty, he's gonna be watching this like, oh, oh. oh. Well, this is exactly <laughs> what he was afraid of. Yeah, it came true the, the first day we touched it. He was like, I don't have the money right now to fix it if I break it. So, so you guys buy it and immediately break it. <laughs> it's not broken. It's our job. It's what we do. Oh, my God. So all the plugs look good? Yeah. All, all the plugs look okay. None of them looked any different from any of the other ones. None of them are super clean like they got hit with antifreeze. So the compression test will tell the real tale. But What's the good word? So that side was all 140 to 150, so that, that's good. Check this side now. I was more worried about that side for some reason. I just felt like it would have been over there. I don't know why, but. 140. This could be a miracle. This is a tough son of a bitch if it survived that. You know, Chief always said, He's like, if you if you took a blowtorch to a piston, you couldn't possibly melt through it in like half a second. And that's what I feel like we might have got away with here. Fucking gas. The best work yet. Listen, what did you do now? You edited for 10 hours? I'm telling you, I woke up this morning and I have not stopped editing until about fucking 10 minutes ago when I posted that video. Yeah, it was a banger. It's a banger? absolute banger like clickbait and everything 2000 horsepower big block obs does wheelie burnouts plus true street og race obs 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 go ahead and crank it all right well we're in the we're in the middle of a I spray very all three kits motherfucker three spray kits. okay 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 listen i tried to spray 30 pounds of boost on pump gas a little bit ago we're uh we're testing some cylinder pressures here right now and uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pro yeah, probably not gonna survive this, but we're kind of in the middle of something right now. I'll let you go, dog. I'll see you. If it's good enough for Jimmy, it's good enough for you. Copy. Come on. Copy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and turn it over. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. One fifty. One more. One more. Wasn't the first one 130? No, it was 150. I read the gauge wrong. It was upside down. Oh yeah, it's low. It's a little bit low. You watching? I'm watching Jimmy Dale's new video. He told me it's straight fire. <laughs> he got that fast and furious race, music. You got to be 3,000 pounds for a small block nitrous combo. We were able to achieve 3,011 pounds, so we ready. All right, folks, it's race day. Andy Riddle's got his little True Street race going on. We're gonna go try him out. It's an XRP. We at Summit right now. Got to get a line lock. Front brakes are hanging up a little bit. 
So we'll get that figured out. We'll go try them out, see what it's about. Let's go. They Is it fire? Oh, look at this. Your Wait. <laughs> Let's go. Watch. You ready? I'm ready. Here it comes. You ready? ready? Look at that. Ah! Choose your fighter. <laughs> this guy's a clown. He's straight clown. All right, so I'm really, really glad that you let off of it before it expired. Dude, you could hear it. It wasn't happy. Yeah. Something was amiss. Well, the injectors were wide open trying to keep up. I think the fuel pump's a little too small for it. It's got a 4340 or 40, 4303 Magna pump. fuel. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think it can keep up. Even so. on pump gas. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to keep up. So we need to put a pump on it, and dude, we've got to do something about these fuel lines. Yeah. Because these fuel lines, uh, it's like push. You see lock. that? It's push lock, and it's not even pushed all the way on. <laughs> and it looks like garden hose for one. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to replumb this car. Put a pump on it. Maybe a a new fuel. Uh, Fuel filter, we haven't checked that yet. I'm sure on gas it's probably fine. But and the other thing I've noticed is like the voltage seems really low. Even when the alternator's charging, it's only like 12 and a half volts. Yeah. So by the time that voltage gets to the pump in the back, it may only have 11 or 11 and a half yeah. feeding the pump. And that could also cause a problem. It may need a new alternator. Mm -hmm. And I hear it squeal when you first start it. Oh, really? Yeah, the belt squeals. So it either it's needs a, another battery or an alternator, probably an alternator. We'll work on that tomorrow. It's it's a good car. I mean, it's really... Pretty tough to be able to put up with that. 30 pounds on pump gas. You know, obviously it wasn't happy. You let off of it because we could hear it. Well, like, okay. So, I just wanted to get a log so we could see what it was doing. And you can probably see it on the on the computer, but like I would feather into it. Like I wasn't wide. Like it would make boost without even being wide open. Throttle. Yeah. And I would just kind of feather into it, and um, I only really pinned it down wide open throttle and held it just for like a split second. You could tell it wasn't happy. So. Yeah. Well, it was lean, and it was probably spraying water meth at the same time, trying to <clears throat> compensate, but... this off well it survived the That's chiefs good. won the chiefs yeah. won we watched the super bowl yeah i won 1500 on the chiefs thanks billy's. to the refs appreciate y'all <laughs> billy's blower car is sitting out there warming up the eye a little iffy on that car everything is iffy on that car <laughs> everything hey i got this thing to idle pretty good Dude, this, thing more runs, time with that. this thing runs really good. We just need to work on the uh, accelerator. What is it? Did you hear a closed loop kick in out there? <laughs> the accelerator, what is it? Acceleration enrichment. That's it. Accelerator pump is what I would work on, but it's accelerator enrichment on the Holly. So. Good news. This thing was built tough, obviously. It's built for tough. It took 30 pounds of boost on 93 octane. For a half a second. And ran out of injector or fuel pump. We're not really yeah, sure which. I think it's a, I think there might be a fuel filter plug or something. So that pump should really support what we're doing. And the injector should support what we're doing too. So obviously there's a restriction somewhere. We'll find it. But it's a good car. It is a good it's car. It's got a lot of potential. I think it could do well in the street classes. Yeah. Puppy well, kicker. Hopefully the next video <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be putting some strange brakes on this thing and some five lug stuff and putting the RC comps on it. Give it a whole new look. It's going to be sick.
I got some headlights coming for it. We've got uh, a new fender extension because we're going to redo this. I'll probably have this repainted um, with a new one and redo the exhaust. I'd like to do a nice bullhorn instead of just because right now it's it doesn't even come out of the fender where it comes out. It's like it's cut off back in there. That's not good. That all that does is heat up this. Also, all the condensation gets put out in front yeah, of the tire. Right in front of the tire. So, but we did make progress today. We got the dash figured out to where we've it got gauges gives, now. We've got gauges. I was a little worried about that. It took me a while, um, but we're in good shape. We can see our oil pressure. I didn't even know what, what kind of oil pressure it had when we bought it. Oh, that's another thing. I think that we might need to put either a restrictor or. A regulator on that turbo because it shoots up to like 80 or 90 pounds of oil pressure wide open throttle and that may be some of what's causing the smoke out the exhaust doesn't hurt to try it's a good car I mean it I think we did all right on it you know it's a good looking car for sure it is a good looking car it's gonna I really be like better this, when we put this our silver gray on. it's gonna look a lot better with those clear headlights We'll get it tuned up. And it'll be orange on the sides instead of that faded yellow. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it tuned up. Well, appreciate you guys. Tomorrow we're going to be working in the shop on the S10, so we'll have another video coming soon. Um, should be getting the fenders and the doors back. I'm excited for you guys to see those. They turned out awesome. Um, we should be getting the rest of the truck together and maybe make a first drive with it. Tuesday or Wednesday. So stay tuned. See y'all.